Hi, my name is Sumit Asrani, and I'm a liver specialist at Baylor University Medical Center in Dallas. So the liver is on the right side of your body, and the liver does two things. On one hand, it's a filter, so it cleans things what the body does not need, and two, it's a factory, so it makes things what the body needs. And sometimes this filter and factory can get irritated. In some people, it's because of alcohol, in some people, it's weight, some medications. So many things can irritate the liver, and if the irritation goes on for years and years, it can lead to liver disease. There are many things that can cause the liver to get irritated. One of the big things is alcohol, and especially during these last two, three years, we've seen a huge spike in people consuming alcohol and damaging the liver. Two is weight and fatty liver. Part of it is driven by our diet, and that can also lead to liver disease. And the third big category is hepatitis. So we used to see a lot of hepatitis C, now we have cures for it, but that's a third big driver of hepatitis, at least in our community. So in some people, people get lucky, the liver gets irritated because of alcohol or weight or medications and the liver gets back to normal. But in some people, if they have this injury or inflammation going on for years and decades and decades, a liver, this filter and factory, which is supposed to be soft like a sponge, can over time become hard like a rock, and that's cirrhosis. And once cirrhosis sets in, that's when people develop complications of liver disease. So when somebody has advanced liver disease, uh, where the liver becomes hard like a rock, the theme I want you to think about is things backing up. Many of these liver disease issues uh, manifest in different ways. One thing, as I mentioned, was jaundice, where you come, become yellow. The other thing that often happens is when toxins back up, you get confusion. That is called hepatic encephalopathy. The third thing that can happen is when fluid backs up, it's called ascites. And that fills up in your stomach area. It can also fill up in your legs. And when patients get sicker and sicker, they start developing infections. They can get liver cancer. They can get kidney failure. So many bad things can happen when the liver starts failing. So unfortunately, uh, when the liver disease progresses enough, once you start getting complications, many of our patients don't make it. However, we want to catch it at an earlier stage where we can do something about it. For example, if they develop liver cancer, if caught early enough, there are tons of treatment out there that we can help for liver cancer. If our patient is eligible for transplant, if we can get them to liver transplant, that sort of resets everything. And then finally, the big thing that we can do is really watch what we do to our body. Alcohol, no alcohol, weight, really watch what we eat. Studies have shown that if you can lose about 5% of your weight over a year or a year and a half, even if you have fat in the liver, that gets better. If you can get to 10% weight loss over a year or a year and a half, even if somebody has a scarred liver, that can start healing. So those are some of the things I think we can start really working on today to improve uh, our chances of living or improving our liver disease. Don't ignore your symptoms. If you feel like things are changing in your body, whether it's liver disease or heart disease, talk to someone. Um, if you were told that your liver tests are high, that can be a sign of inflammation. So ask your primary care about it. Like, you know, okay, what do I do about this? So don't ignore those things. If you end up needing specialty liver care, we're there for you. And, and we really want to make sure that we help you throughout your entire journey. Uh, whether it's just liver tests that are high, you're scared about fatty liver, you're scared about liver cancer, you need a liver transplant. We want to make sure that we can help you throughout the entire continuum of care. And we do this not just being physicians, but an entire team that takes care of you as well as a caregiver so that you just live better. <laughs>